and welcome to Dr. Mix. <laughs> yes, it's finished. It's ready. The Super 808. Let me answer some questions that have been coming. Are you going to do a sample pack with it? I have already done it. <laughs> yes, of course. What is the track you're playing at the beginning of the video? It's an original track. I made quite a few of them using this very 808, but I'm going to talk about it at the end of this video. So stick around for that. In the meantime, I'm just gonna play with the Super 808. Boing! Ha! Hup! Tack! Bass drum, snare drum, low tom, mid tom, high tom, rim shot, claps, cowbell, cymbal, open hi-hat, and close hi-hat. Yes, baby! Later that same evening. The first question, of course, is did I resolve the problem of the humming? The answer is yes, and now I'm going to demonstrate that. So here I've got the 12 channels of the 808. I'm going to turn this on, and here you can see that I have a gate. Now let me select all of the channels and hit Q link here, and now I'm going to remove the gates. Now normally, if I did this before, remove all the gates from this input, I would get a noise level at around minus 45 dBs. Check out now. Well below minus 60. Woohoo! I mean, you have to imagine these are 12 outputs going in all at the same time. And this is the level. So basically, the noise floor is negligible. Oh, yes. So let me put this back up, remove the Q link. Let's. Uh play this unit. The first thing of course that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play the clap because this is the last thing that we have done to it. Maybe put a bit of accent to it. Let's admire the claps. So the claps can be like this or they can be super short or super long. Right? Let's keep a medium, yeah? And let me show you this knob right here. See, it makes it all like mids. And with this knob here, I can control the tone of it, especially the low end. Check out what happens when I pull it all the way up. Small. Five. The more, the more, no, the more I turn this off, the more this has an effect. Isn't that beautiful? Now the kick drum. Long. Super long. You should use headphones right now. Oh. How low can you go? <sighs> Let's toy with the low tom. Because that's going to be interesting. Yeah? It's almost like a kick in itself, isn't it? And check out. Yes. Reverb. No reverb. Reverb. No reverb. Let's uh, try and make this thing a bit longer. Ooh. Ooh. And I can also control the amount of low end. Check out. Like this. Oh, let me remove the reverb. Like this. Or. Like this. And all the ways in between. Tuning. <laughs> Ooh. 
That's magic. Lastly, let me demonstrate the close hi-hat, which can become from classic 808 to Kraftwerk 808. Do you know what? Enough playing, let's make some music here. How about if I turn on this multi-clock, bang. What is this? 160? Why not? Let's go with the kick drum. Boom, boom. Let's have it a bit more aggressive. Yeah. Claps. Maybe a bit too much. I like that. Yeah. Tone. No, I like them. Nice and fat. Let's make it a bit tight. Maybe a little bit craft worky. You know what? Let me copy this across. Yeah, then accent. So now I can go A and B. Maybe some rim shot. Maybe cla cla clavist. Kick drum maybe adjust it a little bit. It's between twist and drum and bass. I like it. All channels are selected perfect. Perfect. Let's do like a sort of roll. Yeah, the kick drum in the second part we leave out. Taka kaka, maybe that's gonna have like four accents. Yes, I can record this one now. Yes, this is gonna be my fill. How about if we chop this up? Let's see if we are on time. Oh, perfect. Perfectionism. Bang, bang. Let's start this from bar number five. We're gonna copy this across a couple of times. So maybe at first we do not have the kick drum. Ooh. We remove the claps right here, the snare there. And then I'm gonna copy across this snare as a little fill right there. Ooh, you are a little bit late. Uh, I will have to fix you. 808s, they are 40 years old and it shows sometimes. This guy is a little bit out of time. We're gonna fix you so you don't disturb us anymore. Done, chop it here. Chop it there. Bang. So we were saying. I like it, maybe a little bit quieter there. How about that? Yes. And maybe we let this ring off. Yes. Two, three, four, bang. So before this happens, we're going to 
Da, 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 da. We remove the kick drum. Put this man here. This we put there. This we double up. This we remove. Remove. And then for the last bit, we have this one. You know what? I'm going to just sample some. Just some ride. Jump, 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 jump. With a bit more attack, maybe. Record on. Let's put it here. Yeah. How about that? How do you feel about that? You ready? So maybe just one last hit of right, right there. Bang, bang, bang. And that's gonna be the last bit of the track. What can I add? What can I add? Juno 6. Yeah, baby. Next, profit. Next, Cold MS20. Roads.
some more Super 808 goodness. Obviously, I'm going to include this track in the Super 808 sound pack, this one, along with six more original tracks, the ones that you heard on this mini-series, plus seven super famous 808 loops from Africa Bambara, Whitney Houston, Phil Collins and more, all MIDI, all mixes, all multi-tracks at 24-bit resolution, but most importantly, a vast collection of one-shot samples from this very unit. It includes the classic 808 sounds and the doo -doo 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 heavily modified 808 sounds. And finally, a whole bunch of ready-to-use patches painstakingly compiled on Steinberg's Halion Sonic SE Free Sampler. This is the classic kit. You can tune the kick drum. You can tune the snare drum, add reverb to the snare drum. You also got the clap tuning. Hi-hat tuning. Open hi-hat tuning. And even the cowbell. Let me show you some more here. You can select, for example, let's see all the um, bass drum kit. There you go. So here you got a really huge selection. You even have these long ones. <laughs> if you have a big system right now, you're enjoying this a lot right and this once you also have the individual sample so you can even use it as a bass you can tune it you can play it across i mean it's like check this one out <laughs> i did it with this Ooh. Oh, man, the 808. Let me show you. Oh, the clap kit. Obviously, the clap kit. You see, all the sounds, these are not just any setting, any sound. These are sounds that I have specifically selected to be practical, to be usable on actual records. Sometimes you find these kits that have all this wee 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 distorted versions, but really you need good quality, high resolution samples 
like this. Very long one, this one. Very short one. I'm gonna show you one more maybe. Yeah, the snare, right? See all the variations? Like all possible combination. But also I sampled several of these notes repeated because this is a synthesizer, so it doesn't repeat all the time exactly straight. It varies a little bit. So I've used some round robin technology where every time you play a key, it plays a different sample. I think I sampled like four different ones per sample. So it was a huge work. See, even when you repeat the same note, it's a round robin of four samples. You can even get this sort of CR-808. Oh yes, baby! Get the Super 808 sample pack on super808.uk and only if you buy it right now, you get an early bird, once in a lifetime, 50% discount. That's right, half price for a limited time. Click on the link in the description and enjoy the power of the Super 808. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well. Hope you enjoyed this video. I love you. See you next time.